What's up, everybody? This is Eric the Tech Preacher. So the last and final developer preview 2 is out, and I've been using it for a few days. And there's some nice changes that I'm seeing with it so far. So let me give you my thoughts about it. I'm using the Google Pixel 6. So let's have us some fun. Sit back and relax and get your popcorn ready and follow me on this journey. Let's go. What's up guys, this is Eric back with another video. So this is the last developer's preview that's coming out for this device before the real beta is dropped very soon. So let me talk about some of the things that I'm seeing that's different. First thing I wanna talk about is that this build is a lot more stable than the last build, obviously, right? But I'm not getting no app crashes or nothing using it for the last couple of days with the developer's preview too. So that's a good thing. First thing that I'm seeing is on the lock screen, you get more information. Now there's a uh, home button at the bottom that brings you to your connected devices when you click on it, which is nice. Next, if you get three or more notifications, you see a nice organized layout, and when you click on them, it brings you to the perspective app. So this is a new change that I really do like. Next, the Do Not Disturb has a new name now. It's called Priority Mode, which if you long press on it, it takes you to a nice menu that gives you more detailed features like schedules and display options. So that's a nice feature that I found. Next, in the notification shade, at the bottom, there's two toggles here. One for quick access to your settings, which is really nice. And then the second one is the power menu, which is a nice touch also. So now you have two settings right here where you pull down your notification shade. Next, control devices is gone away. Now it's called home. When you click on it, it does bring you to your smart home connected devices. So they changed the name. Next, there's a new toggle that's called security and privacy. Here is your security controls, which once again, a very clean, organized layout. It have all your access in one app. You have access to your camera, your microphones and your location. And then when you click on security settings, you will see your security information, which is great. So you do get some detailed information about the security of your device. Next, when you click on some apps, uh, you would get a prompt if you want the app to send you notifications. So here you have to give apps access to your notification. If you don't want the app to send you a notification, now here's a feature that you can turn it off. Now this is a good feature if you get bombarded by notifications. So now if you open up an app, it will prompt you and ask you, do you want a notification from this app, which is really nice. In settings, if you click on display uh, and you go to display and text, it's now an all-in-one solution here. Under this section, you can adjust your font and you can adjust your display size all in this one area, which is a good touch. So I'm seeing some good things with this developer's preview. Now, there are probably a bunch more tweets that I probably missed in this video, but you see, these are some of the things that I found in the last couple of days of using the developer's preview too. Uh, first, I want to talk about how fast a performance that I'm getting with this device so far. And one of the things that I really like, which I wasn't a fan of, is a fingerprint scanner. Now, the fingerprint scanner is very fast now than it was before, and I don't know what happened, but now the fingerprint scanner with this developer's preview is really fast. So uh, they tweaked some things uh, to make the fingerprint scan a whole lot faster than it was before. But overall performance, this thing is performing very well to say this is a preview build of Android 13. With this Android preview update, 
It gave my device March 5th, 2022 security patch, which is really nice. So overall, this is a good build. This is a good developer's preview. It's very stable. I haven't received any app crashes or anything compared to the first build. This build has been very stable. This is Eric the Tech Preacher from Easy Computer Solutions. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think by Android 13 and all is glory. See you guys on the next video. Peace.